Hi, I'm Sarah, product manager here at Nuna. The Rava accommodates children from 5 to 65 pounds, and it can be installed rear-facing or forward-facing, depending on the child's size. We'll walk through the simple steps to install and properly fit the child in the Rava. While there are multiple installation methods for the Rava car seat, we will demonstrate the vehicle seatbelt installation, which is known as preferred installation method because it eliminates the confusion between when to switch from the lower anchors to the vehicle seatbelt. Of course, always make sure to read and refer to your instruction manual. Rava is suitable rear facing for children between five and 50 pounds. And to install, you wanna start by selecting a recline in the blue window any position between one and five are acceptable positions. I'm gonna pick three. I'm gonna open my cup holders, exposing my rear facing belt path. Lift the headrest all the way up and let out some of the tension on the harness. Unbuckle and secure those away in the buckle holders. The infant inserts we're going to remove, they're suitable for infants between five and 11 pounds. Open up the snaps, revealing the true tension door. Open that up. I'm gonna get my vehicle seatbelt. Thread it through the exposed belt path. Buckle my seatbelt. And remove any slack that's in that vehicle seatbelt. Lock the vehicle seatbelt by pulling it all the way out. Close the true tension door. Replace all of your seat padding. Snap them into place. And the last step in checking to make sure that your Rava is securely installed is to grasp at the seat belt path and make sure that it moves left to right, up and down, no more than one inch, as well as make sure that your vehicle seat belt is locked by giving it a firm pull. For fitting an infant rear facing, we're gonna make sure we're using the head support and the body support for infants between five and 11 pounds. First, we're going to take the harness and loosen it. I'm gonna unbuckle it and retain it inside of the buckle holders. I'm going to get the infant, place them in the seat with their bottom and their back against the seat. For infants rear facing and for children rear facing, you wanna have the harness come from at or below their shoulders. So I'm gonna lower this a bit so I can feel that it's below his shoulders. And buckle the harness. We are going to remove all of the slack from the waist by pulling up and pull the adjuster to take out that slack in the harness. Next step is fastening the chest clip. The chest clip should be at their armpit level. And when you have all of the slack out, you should not be able to pinch any webbing at the shoulder. For fitting an older child rear facing, we'll have to remove the head insert and body insert. These are for infants between five and 11 pounds. Our next step is to loosen the harness and retain using the buckle holders. So for fitting in a child rear facing, we're gonna make sure that she's seated all the way back, flat against the seat. You have to raise up the headrest. You are going to buckle the harness and remove all of the slack from around her waist. Pull up on the adjustment strap to get that snug. You're gonna wanna close this chest clip, make sure it's at her armpit level. We want the harness to be at or below her shoulders. And then the last step is to just check to make sure you can't pinch any webbing at the shoulder. The Rava is suitable forward facing for children between 25 and 65 pounds. For forward facing, any of the recline positions in the red window between one and five are acceptable. For additional comfort, the leg rest can be extended by pulling down and forward. First step is we're going to locate the tether at the back of their car seat. Unhook the tether, give it some length, thread it through the vehicle headrest. Going to raise the headrest up, loosen the harness, unbuckle and secure with the buckle holders. Lift open the fabric, exposing the true tension doors, and lift open the forward facing door. I'm gonna take the vehicle seatbelt, get some slack, 
thread it through the belt pass. Buckle it in. Get all of the slack out of that belt. You want to lock your vehicle seatbelt by pulling all the way out. I'm listening for that ratchet noise, that means it's locked. Close your true tension door. Replace your seat fabric. Attach your tether at the back of the seat and tighten. And as a final check, we're going to grasp at the seat belt path and move left to right, and the seat should move less than one inch. And then I'm gonna pull on the vehicle seat belt to make sure that it's locked. Right. Can you sit back and make your back and your bottom touch the back of the seat? Great. The Rava fits children between 25 and 65 pounds forward facing. We want their harness to be at or above the shoulders. So I'm gonna adjust this down a little bit for Tyler. We're going to buckle in the harness. One thing to note is that the crotch belt is coming just where he sits. It's not coming from underneath of him for forward facing. I'm gonna pull up at his waist to remove the slack and tighten the adjustment strap. And then we're gonna position the chest clip at armpit level. And then I'm gonna make sure as a final check that I can't pinch any webbing at his harness. Thank you, high five. Thank you. If you have additional questions on how to install your Rava car seat, please reach out to our consumer service team. Thank you for choosing Nuna.